In this video, I'm going to talk about what kurtosis is, and I'm also going to give you examples of what positive and negative kurtosis look like. Before I do so, I'm going to remind you about skew, which was covered in a previous video. Skew is about distributional symmetry, and symmetry is the quality of being made up of exactly similar parts around an axis. At least with respect to statistics, that's what symmetry is and symmetry is related to skew. Kurtosis is not related to symmetry. It's related to the thickness, that's a key word here, the thickness of tails and or the center of the distribution. Now it's hard to visualize just with words, but if you take something away from this, take away the word kurtosis and thickness. And it's about the thickness of the distribution and in two key particular areas, either the tails or the center. So let's look at positive kurtosis. It's the representation of the situation where the tails of the distribution are thicker and or the center of the distribution is thinner than expected in comparison to what I call here the normal distribution, which I'm kind of talking about a little bit here and a little bit there, but I want to talk about the normal distribution in more detail in the future video. For now, you just have to think of a normal distribution as being symmetric, skew of zero is a property of a perfectly normal distribution. And another property of the normal distribution is that the kurtosis is zero as well. But getting back to positive kurtosis, it's when the tails of the distribution are thicker or the center of the distribution is thinner. So let me show you an example. We have a distribution here with kurtosis of 3.39. And we have tails here that although you might not be able to tell just by looking visually, the tails of the distributions are thicker than they should be on the basis of the absence of kurtosis. And the center of the distribution is thinner. It's kind of narrow this way. It goes up quite high this way, but it's also thinner from left to right. And that's the property of a positive kurtotic distribution. In this case here, we've got kurtosis of 3.39. Skew, on the other hand, is almost absent. There's very little skew in this distribution, but there is a lot of kurtosis, and that can happen. You can have a very kurtotic distribution in the total absence of any skew. So that's positive kurtosis. Negative kurtosis represents the case where the tails of the distribution are thinner, not thicker, but thinner, and the center of the distribution is itself thicker now than expected in comparison to the total absence of any kurtosis or the presence of the normal distribution. So this is what a negative kurtotic distribution looks like. So the tails of the distribution are thinner. There's not much going on here. You can see a bit of a gap between the distribution line and the observation, so they're thinner. But then we also have a distribution that's really quite wide and fat here. We got some thickness here that's popping out, and that is representative of negative kurtosis. So a positively kurtotic distribution is tall, it's tall and skinny if you will, and a negative kurtotic distribution is short and wide. Kurtosis here is only negative 0.87, you can get worse, but this is actually quite negatively kurtotic. You don't actually see this in nature very much at all, and skew is exactly zero in this case. So real life examples, we have letters and numbers, we've already looked at that distribution which had a bit of positive skew to it, well it's also got some positive kurtosis, which is suggesting that the distribution's taller and narrower in the middle than you would expect. So here's another one. Honesty, humility has no kurtosis, almost no kurtosis whatsoever. Here's conscientiousness, almost no kurtosis whatsoever. Now what do you think is going to happen for this distribution? Do you think that's kurtotic? It's certainly very, very skewed, as we learned in a previous video, it's also highly kurtotic. Look how skinny and tall the distribution is over here. It's very protruding at this portion of the distribution, which is indicative of positive kurtosis. It's also got positive skew, and any time you have a lot of skew, you will probably have a lot of kurtosis. But just because you have a lot of kurtosis does not necessarily mean you'll have a lot of skew. You might not have any skew at all. 